Hello, beautiful soul. Welcome back to the Tarot Closet. Welcome if you're new to the channel. Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Christine. Hello. <laughs> Welcome to another All Signs Tarot reading. All Signs. Whoa. Love Tarot reading. All Signs. Love reading. And as is pretty much always the case here at the Tarot Closet, All Signs Love Messages reading. I want to look at that energy. Channeled love messages from your person, messages from their higher self. Somebody here not feeling so confident about ending, looks like no contact, no communication and or in separation, but I'm also feeling like it's time. Let's see what's going on here. Queen of Wands in reverse, six of swords in reverse, Mercury and Aquarius energy. Yeah, it's some stagnant energy. Let's take a look at what else is coming through. Yeah, it's the hangman and the queen of swords. Kind of like a little bit of a naughty corner here. Somebody is taking their time, indecisive. It's, there's some power struggles going on here. Why is this? What is this person needing to be honest about? We have the Queen of Swords here as well. Libra rolled by Venus, somebody dragging their feet. Uh, I guess you could say hanging <laughs> by their feet. The Hangman, Pisces energy. Major Arcana. The Hangman, of course, connected to the Crown Chakra. I know, somebody trying to figure something out. Obviously, getting another perspective here, but it's somebody who hasn't been really doing anything, hasn't been coming, hasn't been honest, has been indecisive. Is it indecisive about the connection? Is it indecisive about something that they need to say? Because the, the stagnancy is still is pretty clear here also with our Queen of Wands in reverse. We see that the truth needs to come. It, there's definitely a power struggle that's going on here. You know, it's kind of like who is... This person needs to own up to something. Like who's going to come first? I kind of feel like it seems like it needs to be them. Let's see. We have another energy coming in. Eight of Swords. Yeah, coming out of, you could say, that. Holding themselves back. That's what that is for me, Jupiter and Gemini energy, because they put yourself there. So things aren't moving forward anymore. You're not communicating. So they're trying to get out of that. Look, the Knight of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck, Virgo and Mercury energy. Somebody here showing up saying, okay, I, I really want to work this out. There's a humility that comes through here also, pushing through those obstacles. Is it just themselves? Is it the ego? What's going on in that Hangman energy. Okay. Hello. <laughs> Welcome to your All Signs Tarot reading. All Signs love tarot reading. All Signs love reading. This is a collective love reading. A love reading for the collective. It's a timeless love reading, a timeless tarot reading. You're here when you're meant to be here. It's a faded connection. It means there's something here for you. So welcome again. Down below, you will find all the links in the links. <laughs> I got to get moving because somebody here wants to communicate. Down below, you will find in the description the playlist. That's what I wanted to say. Love tarot readings, messages from your person. It's connected to the all signs readings. You'll also find all zodiac signs. And if you're on a twin flame journey and want really specific readings tailored to you on your twin flame journey, there is a playlist down below, lots of readings down there, and all readings are timeless. They're meant for you when you find them. You know you, you know if a reading is yours or not. <laughs> so where you're drawn, and maybe it is, maybe it's not. Plenty to choose from. Welcome again. Remember, it's a general tarot reading. Always take what resonates and let the rest go. Let's look at this energy. The Queen of Swords is back, also with the Ten of Swords. Yeah. This person not being honest is really just causing more stress than it needs to. It's back again. And it's here with the Ten of Wands, Jupiter and Sagittarius energy. It's literally time to communicate. The Ten of Wands, I mean, this is a new cycle. You know, this is Jupiter energy. It's the planet of prosperity and expansion, like things moving again. 
growth, luck you could say, turning point. And well, yeah, I would think of that as timing, but that's a lot, that's a lot of exhaustion. It's around matters of the heart, carrying them up this hill. It's hot. There's a whole lot of, you know, it's a whole lot of owl here, <laughs> you could say, going up this hill, exhausting. It's getting warm here with the sun. My throat chakra is already starting to go nuts here. The thing is, is that's also a new cycle, that sun. You know, that's, it's looking like it's exhausting. It's like taking a break from it. You know, get, just put those wands down and tell the truth. You know, it's, it's hot. You got, it's, it's enough carrying them around. It's time to put them down. It's time to get out of this cycle. The cycle of no contact, no communication, which is including the truth. So is it lying by omission by not telling you something or is there some outright lying here? Because that sun is also a new cycle, you know? It's obviously the yang energy and the conscious energy working, getting, getting into a new cycle, this possibility of what's there in a sun, the illumination, of course, the growth, the possibilities. I mean, this is not the sun energy, of course, you know, it's Jupiter energy, but that sun right there, <laughs> that's connecting us to the solar plexus chakra, the power I do. This person really needs to come with the truth. Libra ruled by Venus, by the way, and it will transform some things. Look at all those butterflies there. And that's the other thing, the butterfly energy, you know, it's dark to light. So revealing some some truths. It just brought it back in in reverse. Yeah, because this person <laughs> just wanted to stay in here is not being uh, oh, <laughs> honest about what? I was trying to put it back. <laughs> it was like, no, 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 this needs to stay here. They're not being honest about obviously how they feel. <sighs> Are they not feeling confident enough? And is there something else that they're lying about? Because this is somebody who loves you who you also clearly love, Venus and Cancer energy, soulmate energy, if you're on a twin flame journey, that energy is here. Yeah, I was literally trying to put it back in. Okay, so it is around their feelings for you. Look, it's the King of Cups coming in. Eight of Cups in reverse, it's the coming back in and there's the Page of Swords who has been watching. If they're on, if you're on social media with this person, they're watching. If you are connected with other people, they're talking. <laughs> this is somebody who is holding on to the truth. Literally, our page of swords spying, holding on to this truth here in the Queen of Swords. Now, for the third time, wanted to stay in here. Divine number, divine timing. It's time to get out of this page of swords energy. Student energy, kind of, you know, studying the truth. You could say watching, spying, talking, whatever, getting ready to make a move, but not having made it yet. My throat chakra is, <clears throat> excuse me, going nuts. Excuse me. I don't mean to be gross, <laughs> but that's not, I can't edit that out, you know? Sorry about that. It's, they're, they're definitely, their throat chakra is most definitely blocked and they are trying to unblock it. Um, look at the Page of Swords, Caddy Corner here with our Eight of Swords. That is Gemini energy. It's coming out of where they put themselves, which is not communicating things, not moving forward for you. They're moving again. It's the Nine of Pentacles. So the truth of how they feel about you is really, really clear. They're holding on to that. Coming back in here to tell you the truth about how they feel. And is there another situation that's going on? What's going on in this Eight of Cups? It's in reverse. Saturn and Pisces energy. You know, it's an eight. It's an action number. It's also around some karma. It can be. It's also around the truth, balance, renewal, the cycle back here, coming back in. This is them coming back in here. And by the way, that butterfly energy in our Queen of Swords we talked about, here it is. Eight of Swords in reverse, Eight of Cups, that's 88. That's new stage energy. That's butterfly energy. That's dark delight. That's the truth coming. They love you. 
what other truths are here that they want something more. They're coming in with the Nine of Pentacles, things coming to fruition, coming in with, with commitment energy on their mind here. A little bit, a lot, not confident. Look, because this is the transitional energy in the Six of Swords, and this is where what they've been... It's been stagnant, them not communicating, not sharing how they feel, the King of Cups, but we see that it's coming in here. This page is just holding on to that. And our King of Cups, Master of Emotions, repressing, suppressing, holding back how they feel. Here it is. We saw that coming in. What was the truth? The Queen of Swords for the third time, validating this is where their energy is the strongest as well validating that this is what they're not telling the truth about is there something more is there another is there something else that they're needing to be honest about and is there a cycle ending you could say in another way too perhaps a karmic situation but this is how they feel about you king of cups two of cups this is somebody who loves you who's not feeling incredibly confident to bring that through who has been hiding it literally here look at this king of cups eight of swords in reverse who doesn't want to hide it anymore so the truth is coming to light it's also somebody who's getting out of those power struggles their ego because this has been really clear for me both of you in that hangman energy just a period of uncertainty you know and only time will tell energy and yeah, I don't know how long that's been going on, but there have been some power struggles. And part of I feel like why is this is somebody you really need to hear the truth from, both how they really feel about you. Maybe it's even around potential next steps here. Two of Cups, this can be around proposal energy. We could be talking marriage. Nine of Pentacles here. We could be talking moving in next level. We could be talking just talking again or seeing each other. But that energy of you waiting for them is really clear because this is somebody who we need some paradigm shifts here. We need somebody to really change, make some, I feel like make some, some bold moves, do things really differently, which of course includes not lying. Four of Cups, that also here in reverse with the Queen of Wands. So it's sort of like maybe for some of you, you had plans to talk or see each other, or maybe they even had plans to say something to you, but kind of changed their mind or unsent a message, deleted a message because it just hasn't stopped. This is somebody who is still actively watching, planning, kind of making some plans. And again, also this butterfly energy coming through here <laughs> around what we already saw needing to come in is also telling me that this is somebody who is going to make the move, who's getting out of their ego, because there are power struggles here. I do feel, whoa, I do feel it's somebody who has been an ego. Yeah, look at this ace of, of here we go, it's the ten of pentacles. Yeah, they're showing up for commitment here. And the ace of wands energy, this inspiration of just, I'm getting out of here, look, and I'm coming here to reveal my feelings and I don't know, it, this goes way beyond make things right. I wanted to say kind of make you mine, make claim what's mine. That just sounds so wrong. <laughs> I think you know what I mean. The Ace of Wands energy, you know, Aries, Leo and Sagittarius just getting this urge to what? Well, we can see it. Two of Cups, Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Cups is also here, wish fulfillment. One cup shy, where's that cup? We're getting into the Ten of Cups energy here. One cup shy of the Ten of Cups. It's here in this Four of Cups in reverse. And by the way, the Ten of Pentacles as well. Yeah, this is somebody who is coming in here a little bit afraid uh, in some ego that they're need. This is yours, by the way, that they're needing to get out of. But coming in here, this is like, I'm here for the long haul. This is what I want. We saw who's holding on to that pentacle. We saw that coming in, the Knight of Pentacles. Who is who was coming in with some humility? That's apologetic energy. Who's coming in having worked out or still trying to work out possibly some, some karma in their life? Who's pushing through some obstacles? Because that Knight of Pentacles is holding on to the pentacle. You could say the 10th pentacle. 
I'm wondering too if this is somebody who's getting a little bit triggered, you know, kind of feeling like, I don't know, if there's something they've been seeing because our Page of Swords is connected with the Nine of Pentacles. So it's also this energy that you're doing, you're doing pretty well. So there might be even a little bit of jealousy that's coming through here. Yeah, Nine of Cups, by the way, wish fulfillment. And again, that message I was sending through got a little bit distracted because there's a lot of messages coming through. The Four of Cups in reverse, the Moon in Cancer energy. So that's also putting the Moon in reverse. And it's an energy of, of this person who's getting truth and clarity. So they're getting out of that hangman energy for sure. They're kind of getting out of there first, I feel. And, and it it couldn't be a moment sooner because it, I don't know how long it's been going on, but it feels like it's been going on for a while. But getting out of that energy and yeah, being honest with themselves and coming here and being honest with you. Because look at the stagnant energy here in our Six of Swords in reverse. I mean, it's just already been very clear. And it's an element possibly of surprise here. You know, it's sort of like, okay, I'm going to do this. The Ace of Wands energy. Just getting this urge to kind of finally move. It could be for some of you there's a potential here in person. If you can see your person in person, I don't think that's going to be for everybody. But obviously getting out of the cycle that you've been in of just not communicating. For some of you also not seeing each other. Even in our Four of Cups, you know, it's kind of like, again, maybe even some messages that came in and went out. It's really tied to this fear in the Queen of Wands in reverse. Just, you could say, the lack of confidence to make this happen. So it's sort of like, okay, I'm just going to do this in the Ace of Wands. And it's connected to the Wish Fulfillment, connected to the King of Cups here. So you hearing this from your person means everything the truth of how they feel, and is there another truth here around commitment energy? Because it came in right on the heels of the Ten of Pentacles, Mercury and Virgo energy. This is really long-term energy. You know, we're looking at everything here. It's also telling us that, yeah, we already know that, that there was a new cycle. Were you in a long-term commitment? Were you building it? Was it on the table? Whatever situation you've been in, it is back here on the table, literally. And yeah, it's coming here with our wish fulfillment energy, Jupiter and Pisces, the Nine of Cups. Fulfillment, attainment, fulfillment, things coming to fruition. And by the way, and that's still yours over there, our Nine of Cups, our Nine of Pentacles, giving us a 99. And that's, liter that's a, an energy literally of fulfillment. And of course, 99 comes after 88 here, which is the new stage, the butterfly energy. So it's, it's just been so clear that this truth, them coming here with this truth, getting out of their ego, literally revealing the truth, dark to light, is going to lighten a lot of loads, including that 10 of wands we saw. And it's going to bring in some wish fulfillment energy. So it's both receiving that truth of how they feel, and what and truth around commitment and what else okay this a lot of energy coming in you guys i think that's it page of pentacles here in the upright that's a whole lot of energy so there's there's the 10th pentacle too and it's more page energy which actually isn't surprising because they're trying to figure it out there is a little bit of fear here there is a little bit of lack of confidence. And I don't know if that's around the particular life. It's just about the fact that they haven't been saying it maybe or telling you or sharing their feelings that they love you. Or if it's something else that went on. You know, if there's another situation, you could say maybe even another pentacle contract, partnership, commitment. I mean, it could be obviously around love, but we could be looking at well, somebody obviously in, that has been in their ego and shadow, but we can be looking at other things too. You know, money. Could be looking at devil card energy. But this page is trying to figure out how to move forward to this nine of pentacles to get us here into the ten of pentacles. Then we also have, well, we have the four of cups in reverse. So getting us here into the ten of cups. Again, but what 
what has, I feel like part of the reason this has never worked is because there's something else going on with this person. And obviously they haven't been honest about how they feel. So there's that 10th cup right here with the nine of cups. The five of cups in reverse, Mars and Scorpio energy. So they are asking for forgiveness. That apology is really clear. It's been clear. So it's a strong validation. Hoping you can move past it. There are the Three of Cups again. They're also here. By the way, it won't be for everybody, but I, I would be remiss if I didn't mention if you are if you are resonating with the fact that somebody here, and I feel like it's the person that's here. Of course, it could be you. It's maybe partaking a little bit of something, devil energy over abundance. They're, they're also acknowledging that, and there is an apology for that. And it could have been playing a really big part in... Yeah, and everything that happened here. I don't think it's for everybody, but it is It is here. But it's also really clear that there has been some discord and, and hurt feelings. Some You could say some argumentative energy. So it's either that it's really still recent or it's just the fact that it's still hurtful. And it strongly connects to why you are in no contact, no communication and or in separation. Because look, there are the two of cups here. And they're in reverse and they're emptied. And that's like the separation energy and some, again, you could say some discord, some argumentative energy, which either it was around things not moving, including honesty and communication, communicating honestly, or it could have kind of put you into that, that energy of, of things not moving, the stagnant energy and the six of swords in reverse. Whatever the case is, we see them coming in here ready to be honest how they about how they feel and they're coming in here with some commitment energy it's just really really clear two of cups nine of pentacles ten of pentacles nine of cups king of pentacles there it is so this page has handed i would say the page gave the pentacle to the knight which we saw <laughs> and the knight is giving it to our king here you know kind of mastered it who knows what they want to do with it who wants to put this here in our Nine of Pentacles and give us our Ten of Pentacles, this new beginning energy here with our grapes. And, it, and it's the King of Pentacles, Virgo ruled by Mercury energy. They know this is somebody who, who's coming in here with commitment, with an apology, with the truth which they've been afraid to bring, which is very clearly that they love you and this is what they want and what else is the truth? Aside from the fact that our King of Cups and the Two of Cups is here, that much is really clear around the love. There's something more. Ace of Swords, Seven of Wands in reverse. Yeah, I'll hear you out. Definitely, it's like defense is down energy. And that's the other thing, maybe you weren't. It's the other thing with the Four of Cups in reverse. If you could see each other, it could be that you even tried to have a conversation in person, but if you can't see each other, I feel like there still have been conversations that have been going on, maybe via SMS, social media, email. Oh yeah, look at that. So the Ace of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy coming here with the moon, the clarity, uh, they're revealing here right with the moon. The subconscious energy, also the yin energy, you know, flowing back to you. This is around the emotions, our King of Cups here. That's why I feel like it's been kind of like a standoff in some ways. Nobody really making a move because you've been waiting for this. You know, this the moon is, is controlled by the tide, the emotions. And what needs to be revealed, the subconscious, what have they been hiding? Pisces energy, also bringing in Cancer and Gemini. Communicating, opening up their feelings, King of Cups, Two of Cups, Ace of Swords, the clarity that they've needed to get, the mental clarity getting out of their head, the clarity they've needed to bring to you that they've been afraid to share, which we see here, Ace of Wands, Ace of Swords is on the way. It just might be a little bit of a surprise I guess you could say so maybe showing up to something or a, a message kind of popping in the moon of course connected to the third eye chakra the awareness I see 
We know they do with <laughs> this page. And it's connected to the Eight of Cups in reverse, which is having learned, literally learned their lesson here. This is somebody who, yeah, knows what they did, knows what they need to do, knows what they want. Two of Wands in reverse, what you've been waiting for, Five of Pentacles, the Fool, the Knight of Pentacles is back, with Chariot in reverse, the Delay, the Ten of Cups in reverse, yeah. So, interesting, just even the way all that energy <laughs> was coming in. This is what you've been waiting for. It's the Two of Wands in reverse, Mars in Aries energy. So this is like the, I mean, it's right here. It's like the delays around it. It's connecting with the Four of Cups in reverse. Also the Five of Pentacles here. This is really interesting in this deck. So Mercury and Taurus energy, it's an energy of loss. It's also worry. So it's not communicating. But look what, what our owl here is doing. So five of pentacles, this is Mercury energy, the planet of the mind, the planet of communication. They're trying to communicate with you. But just an FYI, an owl in particular, an owl is a Scorpio around the emotions and inner transformations. They kind of work behind the scenes, you know, and they can hold back their emotions. It's just really clear. This is somebody who's, look, they're, you're both hurt here, but they're trying to talk to you. So again, it's a strong validation. I mean, it's not generally here in the upright energy, but just in what we see here. If you can see your person in person, again, this apology and this communication, what they have to say to you and what they have to reveal to you will, will be at this event that you know about. Maybe you know about it. Maybe you're not sure if they're going to be there. But if you cannot see your person, it's still this element of hearing me out. And maybe, just maybe you will. <laughs> it's the Seven of Wands in reverse, Mars and Leo energy. That is a self defense energy, holding up the seventh wand, saying, you know, who goes there? Like, the Six of Wands coming in, really wanting to communicate, maybe even in person. And this defensive energy of you saying, yeah, wait a minute here. This is in reverse. It's kind of like, okay, I'm going to hear, I'll hear you out energy. Because here's the full energy coming in, asking for another chance. This is somebody who really wants to have a clean slate. This is the cycle. You know, we're, we're going all the way back to the full, right here at the, the beginning of the Major Arcana. Crown Chakra, I know. And it's coming back here with the Knight of Pentacles, who is on the move, who it's important that this Knight of Pentacles is here because it's receiving the Pentacle from the page who's getting it here to the King who knows what to do with it because it's somebody who, I, who has had some confidence issues and possibly some commitment issues. Well, yeah, commitment issues, exactly what they're around isn't super clear, but they have been holding back their feelings. They've been holding back things from moving forward. So we need this Knight of Pentacles to come in here with this humility, with the apologetic energy. Look at the sun, how it's burning all the clouds off here, all the indecision, which has been going on for I don't know how long, but long enough. And making the move. They say in Ireland, you... You vote with your feet, you know? It's what you do, not what you say. And the chariot in reverse is really just a validation of just the amount of time that has gone on. Maybe it just feels long for some of you. But this is what you've been waiting for, and that's connected to some completion energy. So getting out of no contact, no communication, and moving forward with your connection whether it's going back in or going back to the beginning. Where were you? Where do you still want to go? So this is just really a strong validation of that for me, of things not moving. And you can see here that our Page of Wands, it's a lot of Page Energy, Page of Swords, Page of Pentacles, Page of Wands, is holding on to this wand and the offer look. Again, kind of looking, trying to figure it out, trying to figure out how to come in. But owls, by the way, they care about, owls have this a few things that are really important to them. One, 
is their other owl, <laughs> their owl person, I guess, their owl, you, keeping predators away and sustenance, food, which they will share with their owl and with their family. So this is somebody who, I don't know why they've been holding it back and if there, if there are other lies here, and maybe that's why, but is really trying to figure out and come in here with this offer because clearly the connection between you is still here and it's strong. The energy of love is still flowing between you, as corny as that sounds. Because the longer this owl is taking to figure it out, the longer you're here in this Ten of Cups in reverse. And that's the thing. We know that you either didn't get there, you could say, reach that level perhaps, or it just got destroyed. It ended. It, it got stuck. Ten of Cups in reverse. You know, it's the conflicting energy. It's the, you could say, breakup energy, maybe even around families or dreams, hopes, that you had for that even because this is a very hopeful energy here in that rainbow and it's in reverse. So whether you were in the Ten of Cups building a life, perhaps a family, what that means for you is going to really be different for everybody. Com uh, blending families, introducing families, or you were in the middle of that or it was still on the table as possibilities here, you can see that that just all got kind of dashed and it's been on hold. It's like an on hold energy as we wait for, yeah, for things to, to, you could say, to get figured out here, for truths to be revealed, which is what is coming through really strongly here. It's interesting. It's wanting to go here. I want to bring in some more. This is, okay, this is hanging off. This just got left behind. I want to bring in some more tarot. Then we're going to bring in some channeled love messages and close your reading. I want to move it some more. What's going on under here? The six of so yeah. Boy, there's just a lot of energy of the delay. So the six of swords came back again in reverse. And also the sun here, which has already been an energy that I've been feeling of this in reverse. It doesn't stay in reverse. It's a delay. You could say it's a temporary delay around, well, yeah, a new cycle. This is the sun. It's the solar plexus I do. The power, you know, um, the movement connecting here also with the chariot who also lives in that energy, the solar plexus chakra. So it's really been too long. This is that this person has been taking. Is that it? Yeah, the hermit in reverse. Oh my gosh. And the moon in reverse. And look what's at the bottom of the deck. It's the Ten of Cups, so being uprighted here. Yeah. Look at this. So, yeah, this has been what is stuck energy. It's the Hermit. Virgo and Mercury energy, also the Moon in reverse, but I like this because it's just, it really is just a validation of, it's just a validation of what has been stuck and what is about to be revealed. Because the moon in reverse energy, here again, look back, Pisces, also Cancer and Gemini, is clarity and the truth that your person is getting and that's also coming to you. It's just been delayed. Hermit energy, third eye chakra, I see the awareness. And we also saw here in the moon that that's what they're getting here. So this is a lot of, it's like from going into the past and current into this future energy coming here. It's somebody who has been afraid. This is somebody who did mess it up, who's afraid to mess it up again. And it's also telling me that you might be a little bit afraid to open up in that way. But that's what's been keeping things from here. And here is the Ten of Cups now coming in the upright. Because this is where it's been. Again, so whether you were you are, had already built a life or a family or blended families or were going to, you were in the middle of it or you were about to, it's, it was stopped, not moving. It's here on the table again and it's coming here again with our nine of cups, our nine of pentacles, our ten of pentacles, our two of cups, even here in our ace of swords, knight of pentacles, King of Cups, it's all this energy of 
them wanting to move here, which is move forward, which is what they have not been doing. My gosh. Yeah, it's, we have judgment. I like this. Lots and lots and lots of, of past and the current energy that just came through here. So it really is just a validation. And by the way, it's a really strong validation if somebody is over-consuming, okay? If that had anything to do with it, a little bit of partaking, you could say. Uh, I'm, I don't even... I'm just going to leave it at that. It's not going to be for everybody, but it is here, and it may have played a part. It's connecting with the hangman, which came back, which this reversal energy is kind of like... Yeah, it's a little it's a little bit of selfish energy. So somebody here may have been in a particular state of mind that played a part in it. But it's what's been coming through. Look at the nine the knight of wands here in reverse. So an impulsive decision around something impulsive, but it's also an impulsive energy that I feel that's coming in here. I like this a lot, the seven of cups coming here in reverse. Venus and Scorpio energy because this is also a lot of the energy of our moon of this person holding up a mirror and getting out of, yeah, whatever they've been telling themselves because this is the clarity. This is like getting out of the illusions, you could say, because the Seven of Cups is where this person has been. Uh, and I don't know what the commitment issues have exactly been here, if it's around other people or not, other situations, it very well could be. But this is them coming out of that energy. They're really trying and wanting to talk to you. There's a wake-up call here. And I just want to tell you that it's also real literal for me because we have the Nine of Swords in reverse, Gemini and Mars coming here with judgment. So it's somebody who has... Um, not who wasn't sleeping very well, who knew, who's been watching, who still I feel like does, and knows they need to come here and be honest with you, who who loves you and needs to make this right, but also needs to kind of move fast, I feel like. I don't know where you're at with this. But with this reversal energy also coming with judgment, it's like waking up literal in the night, but then also waking up and doing something about it. Judgment, Archangel Gabriel the angel for messages, the herald of visions. Wake up, what do you want? It's a lover, you could say, from the past, coming in here, asking for forgiveness, coming here with the truth, coming here with the truth and clarity that they need because this is a balancing energy. So it's somebody who has been in shadow and ego. We all have divine feminine divine masculine energy, of course, and it's somebody who's finally coming into that. It's the, the transformational energy that I've been feeling here in making this decision. It's clear for me that this is reconciliation for this person. You also love them. Where are you at with it? Because I can also see that you're afraid to be hurt, again, from this person. And by the way, judgment, of course, is connected to the crown chakra. I know. It's like getting up, okay, I know. And going and uh, connecting, of course, with our Ace of Swords, my little baby judgment. Con here, connected with the Ace of Wands, okay. The Seven of, of Cups in reverse. I got it. I got it. And trying, <laughs> getting this, either seeing you somewhere, going to something, or getting this message or phone call to you. Will you hear me out? Look at this as this owl is walking alongside. Please hear me out. And just a little side note, Archangel Gabriel here in Judgment is specifically connected to the sacral chakra I feel, as well as the throat chakra I speak, communication. Revealing the truth of how they feel. Revealing whatever other truths need to come through here. And, and if there's some bad decisions that were made holding themselves accountable here in judgment and coming here with commitment on their mind recommitment what does that mean for you this is so clear for <laughs> i say pun intended because for lack of a better word okay i'm gonna my throat chakra is going wild it's time to get these channeled love messages down for you what do you want to say That's it. My life's biggest mistake was to think that I'll be okay without you. The truth is that I'm not and I never will be. I miss you. 
that's the owl here. It just gave me goosebumps trying to, to talk to you. This is a really clear message. Baby, I need your love. Please come back to me. I know that I've hurt you, disappointed you. Please believe me when I say I'm sorry. It is still this owl talking. I run because this love is so intense. Okay, so there's some answers, some answers, because that's the thing also, the Eight of Cups coming here in reverse as they come back in. Lessons learned, because that's an energy of running, ghosting, or pulling away. That's what the Eight of Cups is, and it's coming in here. So that's directly connected to that. Because look with that Eight of Cups connected to why things the Ten of Cups has been in reverse. And this is connected also to the full energy of really hoping that there's a chance, fingers crossed, to leave all this behind what happened and start over to come back together and not forgetting about it, like actually working it out. We will be together again, I believe it, to you. I have not moved on, I'm lying. Yes, we know. No, I am not over you. We know. Look where it is, right here with our little looky loo page energy <laughs> watching. I feel so at home with you. This is Six of Cups energy, Sun and Scorpio. Just that feeling, you know? You touched my soul so deeply. If you're on the Twin Flame journey, this can definitely be around communication on. on I could, I want to say on any and all levels, you know, whether it, it could be in person, of course, but this could all, we, we're also just talking about what they have to say to you here today too. Dreams as well. The moon in reverse. So this is somebody who is dreaming about you, whatever journey you're on. Are you thinking about me? How did I even exist before you? Realizations, epiphanies, wake up energy, judgment, and the Two of Cups. I love you more than I've ever found a way to say to you. You don't say, I hope you still love me. Yeah, I feel like that's a question here that only you can answer, but I feel the question lingering. Like it's here. That energy is here. Do you? It looks like it. So much regret. I love you, I love you, I love you. I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. Yes, I think of you constantly. Can you forgive me? My beloved, can you forgive me? Wanted to show the two of swords. Moon and Libra energy. Make a decision. Is there a compromise here around for some of you, around location or something around the connection? And is that your decision to make? Okay. What do you want to say to your person? This is your last chance. I'm going to end the reading here after this deck. Yes, I know you love me. Interesting. They just, you haven't answered them yet. I love you. Do you still love me? Yes, I know you love me. I am so lost without you. You have changed me for the better. You are my other half. Seeing you as a soulmate. If you're on a twin flame journey, obviously that is here. So they're acknowledging that. I am afraid you will reject me. Valid fear. It's kind of here, I feel like. I could listen to your voice all day and night. I was scared. Eight of Cups in reverse. 
Your last channeled love message. Message from their higher self. We belong together. You are my other half. Lots of wake-up energy here. The truth of how they feel, what else? Truth of what they want. Beautiful soul, that's your reading today. Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. I would be so grateful if you took the time to like today's video and subscribe to the Tarot Closet if you haven't. Thank you so much. I'm sending you love and light always and looking forward to seeing you at another love reading soon. Until then, bye.